Jesus died on Good Friday. But not only Jesus. Two thieves died with him. But not only the two thieves. The apostles died with him. Judas did also. But not only the apostles. Mankind died on Good Friday. Something tragic happened on Good Friday. And humanity was never the same again after that. And then on the third day, as we know from our faith, Jesus rose from the dead. They visited the tomb and the tomb was empty. It was mind-blowing because the one who died is risen from the dead according to our human expression and terminology. But even if Jesus was risen from the dead, Jesus was different. That is why Mary Magdalene thought he was a gardener. That is why the disciples of Emmaus thought he was a stranger who was so ignorant. And then 40 days happened. What was the 40 days for? The 40 days was a period of adjustment to a different kind of Jesus. Jesus was alive. Jesus is alive. But he was quite different. And they wanted to return to their old stories, to their old lives. So what is the first lesson of the Lord's ascension? It is let go. Let go that Jesus died. Let go that his presence is different from how the apostles were used to him. Let go. Can we live our lives without letting go? Can we live lives accumulating and clinging all the time? Did not the Lord say to Mary Magdalene, Do not cling to me. Do not touch me. I have not yet ascended to my father and your father. To my father and your father, to my God and your God. So the first lesson of the Lord's Ascension is this. What is it about the past that you cannot let go? What is it that about that beautiful dream that you know cannot be realized anymore? You dreamt of a beautiful marriage. You dreamt of a faithful spouse. You envisioned a happy family. But it is no longer so. But you are still alive. So you have to let go of that dream and recognize that even if you let go, something new is given to you. People don't like to let go. You know why? Because it hurts. People don't like to let go because we don't like the experience of tears. We don't like crying. We don't like mourning. But when we let go, we eventually become sad. So the second lesson of the Lord's Ascension is after letting go, let it be. If you have to cry, cry. Tears are gifts from the Lord. They can make you see better. If you have to grieve, grieve. Mourn what is lost. Cry for what is lost. Let it be. It is not prohibited to cry. There is no commandment in the Ten Commandments that says, Thou shalt not cry. Because tears were given to us by God so that we can express our sadness. And sadness is a human reality that we cannot escape from. Kung kailangang umiyak, umiyak. Kung kailangang malungkot, malungkot. Kung kailangang malumbay, kung kailangang magluksa, magluksa. Let it, let go and let it be. But you know what happened? After the apostles let go of the Lord as the Lord ascended into heaven and did not cling to him. And after the apostles recognized that the Lord had gone and they were insecure about his absence, they let it be. 
and they allowed God to let it be. And what happened? After ascension, the Holy Spirit came. In other words, there can be no coming down of a new spirit without a letting go. There can be no Easter without dying. There can be no Pentecost without ascension. There can be no new life without a willingness to die. But there can be a no new spirit if you do not let go, if you keep on clinging, if you keep on being obsessed or being attached. And what happened? After they let go and after they let it, let it be, the Holy Spirit came upon them. And when the Holy Spirit came upon them, what did they exclaim? The apostles said, let's go. Let's go to all the corners of the world. Let's go because this is too much to contain. Let's go because the whole world is waiting for the gospel of Jesus that he is risen from the dead. And they were so fired up. Can you imagine the discouragement of Good Friday? And then the confusion on Easter Sunday. And then the grief of 40 days. But after the, rece after the reception of the Pentecost, they were all willing to die for the Lord. So passionate, so fiery, so zealous for the Lord. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, you say you have no fire? You say you have no energy? You say you are lethargic, you are sleepy, you just like to rest, close the doors, wrap yourself in the blanket, and do not entertain guests? You know, if you let go and let it be, the Spirit will come upon you. And when the Spirit comes upon you, you will discover we will let, we will go together. We will be happy together. We will be on fire together. So the ascension of the Lord is not just about the departure. The ascension of the Lord is our story. Sad ka? Unhappy ka? Frustrated ka? Disappointed ka? Let go. Let go of those old dreams. Let go of those old hurts. Let go of those ugly memories. Cry if you need to cry. Grieve and mourn if you need to grieve and mourn. And even die if you need to die. And in letting go and let it be, believe me, the Holy Spirit will come to you and then you will be on fire with a different kind of fire. You will be energized with a different kind of energy. You will be passionate with a different kind of passion because that spirit is only given to those who are willing to let go. Let go, let it be. Receive the Holy Spirit and after receiving a new spirit, let's go together and change the world.